Okay, here is the uh, Canon EX15 II, the Mark II version of the IP6 extender. Uh, making this recording just so you can, this video just so you can see how the, um, the in case you want to remove the the uh, lenses from the eyepiece extender. If you you can see the back of how it attaches to. I have I still have a 40D. Um, once I remove it from here, then you'll see um, here shortly. I'll show you the inside what those little plastic lenses look like. So that metal plate right there, and then there's actually two plastic lenses that you have to remove and it's really simple um, I was just recording this with one hand so it was a little difficult a little tricky so I'm trying to give you a better view of those um, plastic lenses that come inside there if you use those plastic lenses and just go ahead and attach it to your camera and then uh, uh, attach um, the one the eyepiece that comes on uh, your camera to that it everything will look smaller so here you go see you can see the um, the screws that you have to remove and then you take off that back plate okay you remove those two little screws and take off the back plate and then pretty much everything that's in there you have to take out so there's this metal plate that like I say it was difficult for me to um, to get that out with one hand so um, but I used another screwdriver from it. I had to use a uh, electronic uh, tool set in order to get those, you know, because everything was pretty small to get those screws out, the Phillips head screws out of there. So there you go. You can see that there's two plastic lenses. There's an outer one and then an inner one. And those lenses there will make it everything small. Um, if that's to your liking, you know, it's all personal preference. If that's to your liking, then that's, you're probably not watching this video. If, uh, you're watching this video, I would assume that you don't like those, uh, that, that small look when you look through your viewfinder, you want it to look, uh, just like, you know, the way it came from the factory. Um, so you take those out and here we go. That's what it'll look like. It'll look just hollow, really. It's just a shell. So you put that back plate back on. And what you'll notice here, I'm trying to show you. I Once I got all that out, I had to see how I'm shaking it. I had to leave that back plate a little loose in order to fit back on my camera. Um, and there's everything that... And there's the standard piece that comes on the back of your camera. Uh... So you can see you attach this. And like I said, I had to attach it loose uh, with that back plate, just slightly loose uh, in order for it to fit back on my camera. Um, okay, so, and then it just slides right back on there. Uh, maybe for you it'll be different depending on what camera you have, but on, on my camera, the 40D, I had to leave that back plate a little loose, just like, maybe a full turn loose and then uh, you put the uh, rubberized you know break or standard eyepiece that comes on the camera back on the extender and there you are and then when you look through it it'll look just like you're used to when you had your regular eyepiece on there without the extender so um, there you go man uh, hopefully this helps I didn't find any video that did this so uh, I thought it would be useful to uh, post it. You can see the nice distance that you get from your screen so you don't make smudge marks and everything on your screen. And, and my screen there, I had already put it to my face, so uh, you don't see any smudge marks on my screen there either. So just that little bit is enough to keep your nose from getting on the screen. Uh, okay, so happy shooting, man. Peace out.